Basil was born into a wealthy Christian family in Caesarea in Cappadocia in 330, and educated in the schools of Caesarea, Constantinople, and Athens, where he formed a deep friendship with Gregory, later known as St. Gregory Nazianzus. Shaken by the sudden death of his younger brother, he was converted by his pious sister Macrina. After visiting monastic centers, the young Basil formed a monastic community of his own in Ebora, near his home in Anessi, and lived there with his monks for about five years. He wrote many rules and guidelines for monastics, so that all Eastern monasticism owes something to his spirit. Recognizing his gifts, the church ordained him priest in 365 and bishop of Caesarea in 370. As a bishop, Basil greatly cared for the poor and suffering and built an estate which included houses for travelers, a church, a hospital, a hospice, all with complete staff. A famine striking the area sent many poor and starving into his care. Their pain grieved him, and he labored to feed them with his own hands. He wrote, If you are reduced to your last loaf of bread and a beggar appears at your door, then take that loaf and lift your hands to heaven and say, O Lord, I have but this one loaf. Hunger lies in wait for me, but I revere your commandments more than all other things. If you should say this, then the bread you gave in your poverty will be changed for an abundant harvest. St. Basil greatly strove against the Arian heresy in which he stood up against the Arian emperor Valens. When called to account by the state for his orthodoxy, he conducted himself in such a way that the examining prefect, accustomed as he was to more pliable hierarchs, expressed astonishment at his boldness. Basil retorted, Perhaps you have never had to deal with a proper bishop before. Basil wrote to his nephews to make full use of pagan literature, a rare attitude in those days, in order to gain a deep understanding of the Christian faith. Aware of his own shortcomings and dispirited by disappointments in his life of struggles, Basil wrote, For my sins I seem to fail in everything. Nevertheless, he was far from a failure. His labors, including the writings of works on the Holy Spirit and against Eunomius, contributed greatly to the final triumph of Nicene Orthodoxy at the Second Ecumenical Council of Constantinople in 381. The liturgy which bears his name is largely his own work. He died peacefully in the Lord in 379.